What's up friends? This is Jaiska Tutorial on Jaiska Show. Are you a teacher? Are you conducting online classes in this new norm? Are you having problems making quizzes for your students online? Well, don't you worry anymore because in this simple tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can make quick and simple quizzes that you can send and let your students answer immediately wow. by using a free online platform. Yes! So please, don't skip any part of this video so that you won't miss anything in the process. Hi! So before we start, let us know first what is Google Forms. Google Forms is a survey administration app that is included in the Google Drive Office Suite and Google Classroom along with Google Docs, Google Sheets, and Google Slides. Okay. Google Forms is a tool that allows collecting information from users through a personalized survey or quiz. The information is then collected and automatically connected to a spreadsheet. The spreadsheet is populated with the survey and quiz responses. Wow! The form service has undergone several updates over the years. New features include, but are not limited to, menu search, shuffle of questions for randomized order, limiting responses to once per person, shorter URLs, custom themes, automatically generating answer suggestions when creating forms, and an upload file option for users answering questions that require them to share content or files from their computer or Google Drive. So in our previous tutorial, I think everybody knows how to make already their Google accounts. So let us now proceed to our Google Forms. Yes! You go to this URL, forms.google.com, and then you will be greeted on this interface. So you have here a blank option, blank quiz, exit ticket, assessment, and worksheets. So since we are going to create a quiz, so let's click this one, blank quiz. And then once you click that one, you will be prompted by... And then, if you want to change that one into your own title, like for example, you want to change this one to your subject, like Network Security 101. You can do that one. And then, here in our blank quiz form, you can change the themes if you want. So, there are a lot of theme color, background, and so on. And if you want to put a picture, like your own image for the quiz or for the subject, you just click this one, choose image. And then let's let's try to upload. By the way, you can choose a lot of images here in the Google Gallery. Uh, let's try to upload an image. I have here a photo that is already ready. That one. And click open. So once that's already uploaded, you just click done. And then Google will paste it on the forms. Now next is, so we have here these options that you must also consider like this one. Add a question, import questions, add title and description. Like we have already a title here. You can add a description if you want. You can add an image, so if you want to add an image here or on any questions, you can click this one, add image. You can also add a video if you want. And you can also add a section for your forms. Now, let us start making a quiz, a simple quiz. Yes! So here we have a section here, untitled question. So you can click this one, like that, and then will expand and here on this part you put here a question so on a question by the way you can select a lot of options here 
uh, if your question will have a short answer so you select this one if your question needs a paragraph answer you select this one or if it is a multiple choice question you can also make it a checkbox a drop down if your question needs a file to be uploaded if it's linear scale multi-choice grid checkbox grid date and time if you want also to put a date and time for your question so let's try to make a very simple question here so let's make it a multiple choice question so I have already here um, a question from CCNA chapter 1 so let's try this one let's copy this and put it here that one so that will be your question and then here on option one let's try to put the first possible answer that one and then here if you want to put the other answer you just click on this add option click that one and then it will have option two so let's copy this and put it on option two and then you click this one again add option to put the third answer which is the correct answer by the way and the other one or the last answer copy this and put it here on option four that one and then next is of course you need to have an answer key or the correct answer so what you're gonna do is click this one answer key and then you put here how many points do you want for that answer so let's put here one point and then I have here the correct answer this one I'll select this one so it has a check mark and then you click done but then of course uh, we have to get rid of this asterisk because that will give the student some clue that that is the correct answer and then next is so that your student needs to answer this one so you need to enable this required option here okay so there you have your first question yeah if you want to add another question let's click this one add question and then you will have another box here or another section so let's try a multiple choice question with two answers like this one choose two okay so let's copy this okay and put it here that one and then on option one let's put the first possible answer that one and then let's copy this other answer put it on option two and then the third answer let's put it on option three this one on option four and the last one let's click this one and put it on option five and then the next you need to do is you need to put an answer key so you click that one and then of course since this question has two answers so we need to put there two points let's give it a two points uh, question and then you click the correct answers like this one the first one and the third one and then once you're done you just click this one done and then of course we must get rid of this asterisk asterisk symbol or asterisk character and lastly you need to enable the required button so that, so that the student needs to answer this question by the way you can change your options with your multiple choice question like if you want to change it into check boxes instead of these circles you can select that one so it's now changed to check boxes if you want your answers to be in a drop down menu you can also select drop down and all these answers will be in a drop down menu so if you want to preview that one your actually your quiz form if you want to see a preview of it you can select this preview and then try to see if it is okay for you the the design of your quiz so like this this is a multiple choice 
question and this one here since we changed it into a drop down menu answers so so this is how it looks and then you can close this one if you want and then of course um, if you want to save this one do not worry because this is already automatically saved inside your Google Drive all you have to do is just change the title of your quiz like if you want to um, make it the same with your subject here network security 101 and then you put here quiz one okay so that will be your title of your quiz and your quiz is automatically saved inside your Google Drive Wow. okay next is before you will send your quiz form to your students you must go here to the settings and you must check or add check here some options first is collect email addresses you must put a check here so that whenever your students uh, take the quiz uh, you can collect their email addresses and then here requires sign in and then um, I would uncheck this one restrict users within an organization so that you can have this quiz uh, given to your students who are not part of a certain organizations but you must put a check here limit to one response so that the student can only take it once and then don't put a check here edit after submit so the student cannot edit his or her answers and put a check here see summary charts and text responses and then that's it here on the general settings let's go to the presentation and to the presentation please put a check here on progress bar so that the student will have a guide so that they will know if they are nearing the end of the test or not and then of course I would recommend that you put a check here shuffle question order so that each student will have a different question on each page and then here confirmation message whenever a student is done with their quiz you can put a message here like uh, great job and then thanking them thank you for taking the quiz okay and then after that one you go here quizzes uh, option and then here make this a quiz assign point values to questions and allow auto grading so you must enable this one and then here we have a quiz option here lock mode on chromebooks this is only schools that are using chromebooks or students that are using chromebooks because in chromebooks if you will enable this one respondents aren't allowed to open any other tabs uh, other than the quiz itself so this is a great option now next here on release grade you can choose two options if your quiz is only multiple choice uh, i recommend this one immediately after each submission the student can see his or her grades now if you have a short answer or a paragraph answer part on your quiz then i suggest you click this one later after manual review because you need to manually check those questions which requires short and paragraph answers and then here respondents can see missed questions you can put a check on that correct answers um, i would recommend to uncheck that one and put a check on point values now if you are done with this you can now save this and then you are now ready to send the quiz now on sending the quiz you can click this one send and then here so we have an option collect email address if you want to email this quiz to each student one by one you can put here their email address and then you have here the subject and then I invited you to fill out the form that is your message or something or maybe you can change this change this one into I invited you to just change this one take the first quiz something like that and then you can also click this one include the form in the email or if you do not want something like this you can go here and then here is a link of the quiz form and 
if you want this one to be shorter you can click this one shorten url and then just copy it and then send it to your students yes or if you want it to be embedded somewhere on a website you can go here embed html and then you copy this one and then put it on a html file or a web page yes so that's it that is how you make a quiz using google forms now if you have any questions please do leave a comment down below now if you have learned something in this video please don't forget to like subscribe and click that notification bell once again, this is Jessica Tutorial on Jessica Show. See you on the next video. Bye-bye!